Hey guys, it's CNC Constrictors again. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a different video all about the food side for the snakes. We'll be talking about ASFs and mice, why we feed them, how we home them, and how we breed them. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to talk about why we choose what we choose as far as red and wise. Um, there's a lot of options out there. Um, you have frozen thawed. A lot of people who just have like one snake um, tend to go to PetSmart or their you know local pet store and get frozen thawed. Um, if you have bigger stuff, I mean, obviously saving money, you're gonna do live unless you're just not comfortable with it. Um, For us and our goals, it fits us well to do live. We do plan on expanding our collection to a massive amount, you know, 20, 25, maybe 50 snakes in the future. Yeah. So in order for us to keep doing this cost effectively, we do breed our own rodents. Yes. Now, why we feed ASFs? Because they don't ever outgrow the snake. Now, even at an adult size, which we'll go through and show you some of the fresh rodents that we just bought for our feeders and explain their temperament, you know, what we feed them, stuff like that. But for us, ASFs are the best option. Now they do breed slowly, but they never outgrow the snake. No, and they do, after a certain point, grow very, <laughs> very long. Like, it from, I want to say maybe to, like, wean to teenager, it takes them pretty good while to get from that point to teenage. Um, if anyone breeds uh, rats out there, you know, you know, they breed very quickly. They grow very quickly. And if you don't have a snake like a Burmese or anything big like that, then you're not really going to need much use if you're just breeding ball pythons because the, the rodent does outgrow the snake. Um, mice, on the other hand, small. I mean, they're good for your hatchlings, you know, adult size mice are very good for that that's what we feed our hatchlings um unless you know they come out of the egg as a runt then it's kind of like a fuzzy uh asf or mouse depending but it's just something we go so we have both mice and asfs we don't just have one so we breed them both so everyone has options because when you get you know someone or a snake from someone else you don't know what they're on they're on fro frozen thawed they're on live they're on this they're on that you know so you just want to have the options out there so you can make sure your snake is getting the nutrition that it needs all right well let's go ahead and show you some asfs that we just bought i figured this would be a perfect for this video so yes fortunately all of our mice are out in our building um if you guys want a video of that or we might just go ahead and make a video of that to kind of show you our setup um now these this is a pretty decent sized female i would not say that this is like an adult adult pretty much getting there yeah but she can definitely breed and have her you know first litter if she already hasn't um, we just got these from another local breeder here in North Carolina. As you can see, she doesn't have a bad temperament or anything. No. This is a pretty nice ASF. Yeah. You can definitely keep them as pets if you were ever interested in just having a rodent as a pet. Not saying that rats or mice or anything else out there um, rodent-wise isn't... But, I mean, if you're just... And if you're brand new into the snakes, you can't have one without the other. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just how it goes. 
It's just uh, something you have to do if you want a snake. I don't care what snake it is, they're not gonna eat salads, okay? You're gonna have to have some kind of rodent, whether it be mice, rats, and ASFs. Yes. If you're not comfortable with that, then you probably don't need a snake. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is uh, one of the ASFs we've got. You can see it's a very nice animal. These do have a t uh, bad reputation of being aggressive. And uh, I've had a few, I've been bitten by some, but for the most part, these are very nice. Yeah, they're like, they're like your typical, you know, pet smart rodent, you know, if, to be honest, I mean. I mean, I've been bit by mice yeah, and rats, rats too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've had some crazy stuff with rats. That's why we don't do rats no more. Cause that was that was that was that was a good time, like, a real good time. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, if we do our rodent building video, we'll definitely show you the rest of our ASF collection and our. Um, see now, here is a bigger female. As you can see, they get. Pretty decent size, especially for a ball python. This is probably a very good size. Yeah. And one like this would easily have babies. Oh, this is actually a male. Yeah, it's a male. My bad, this is a male. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's very easy, obviously, to tell um, your females and your males um, just get you a pair of tongs and kind of like lift up their butt. Um, obviously from the butthole, you know, if it's that long, far apart as far as like the genitals to, you know, the butthole. I can give you a quick education. <laughs> just watch out, love. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can obviously see. Yeah. Testes right there. You basically have to have room <laughs> for the testicles to grow. So, yeah, if it's so not spread like that, butthole, then... Butthole. Penis. Yeah, penis. <laughs> mm. Please don't report our video for saying penis. It's just... Technical term, it's literally what it's called. Let's see if I can't find a girl. Yes, this is a girl. I think this might be the, yeah, this might be the same girl. She's like a little scrawny, though. Yeah, right? But you can obviously tell her yeah. little urethra or what, vagina, yeah. I yeah. guess, and her butthole are closer. There's no room for testicles. I mean, so you can obviously tell that it's a female. It took us a while for us to get it down pack, especially me being completely new to this. So we had to Google it, which Google Images obviously has, yeah. you know, what yeah. it is. So And even when I got... Okay, well, that happened. <laughs> but um, even when I got back into this, I had to pretty much relearn a couple things. And I was just like, okay, so if it's close together, female, far apart, male. Yeah. But now we know. And usually when we get a new tub of that aren't feeders, um, we usually, depending on how much we have, we do... Three and six, that's a nice male. Yeah, it's a little bit boy. And of course they come in different, you know, colors and all that. And this is obviously an albino. It's going to be... It's not technically an albino. Yeah, it is. It's got red eyes. No, they, they, they call it something else. Oh, the... do they? Yeah. Oh. But I call it albino because I'm used to red eyes and... Albino being, you know, the common thing for albino. Yeah. But there, there's something else that they call it that I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess to it me, would be a nice blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the technical terms for the morphs of these, but um, we just now recently got into trying to breed like straight white ASFs. I, I find like they're really pretty. And you see this, this, this rodent is so calm right now. <laughs> Either that or he's very petrified. <laughs> uh, he doesn't even look like he's breathing that hard. He 
even though he does seem to be taking a crap. So she scared the shit out of him. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there, there he goes. There he goes. Get, get, get back in there. Get back. In there. Oh, don't, don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Oh, you little thing, you. <laughs> but obviously, when you're doing this, you want to have a pair of tongs. Buy them off Amazon. Literally. Feeding tongs. That's all you have to ooh. look up. These are actually called hemostats. Um, for the medical term. Yeah, doctors use very smaller ones. Yes. These, I like these. These are my best friend when feeding. Yes. <laughs> we definitely have the, have the long one just because they do like to climb up. Not that they're really going to bite you, but they're not going to be happy because you're messing and clamping their tail. Yeah. But you can get different sizes, obviously. Yeah. And, I mean, for us, I mean, when we do work together. It's easier just to have a lot. And if yeah. you misplace, like we do, of <laughs> everything, then you're going to have, you're going to want to have like two or three or however many who's working with you. Um, if you have you know, a significant other or a friend doing it with you, um, definitely makes the work a, a lot, lot faster. Yeah. Especially when you're cleaning the rodents, because that's a whole process in itself. Um, so just be aware. <laughs> there's, there's a lot, a lot to it, but it's worth it saving a lot of money, because he, when he first did this, he did um, Frozen Thawed and was spending like over $100 a month and frozen thawed and then that's not it, that's not even including shipping yes um which there's a lot of people out there that do frozen thawed as far as shipping yeah. and stuff so and some you, people probably do it at home if they have like an x amount and they just yeah. you know but uh there's many options as far as that and um for me i don't i'm not fond of it i don't really want to thaw out like 12 to 15 different rats because you have to get the head to very specific temperature for the rodent to even be interested in it and it can take a while you mean a snake <laughs> sorry it's been a very very rough day for me with words <laughs> i <laughs> i don't know what's wrong i think i just need to go to bed <laughs> but um now we're going to talk about what we feed the rodents um dog food yes i mean there used to be a brand out there called doggy bag dog food um unfortunately it, if you are used to a tractor supply i don't know how many states have tractor supply but um they used to sell it pretty cheap 13 dollars. and then for some reason i guess the company went under i guess due to covid like a lot of companies have been and they just we went I stopped we went back and forth between Missouri. Missouri and doggy bag dog food. Yeah, which whoever's done Missouri knows that you're basically paying per pound for your 50 pound bag. So you're paying about 50 bucks for pellets. And if you got a pretty big rodent collection and if you're starting out, you got a budget. You don't want to be spending 50 bucks twice, you know, $100 a month for rodent food because... And we discovered, you know, if you need food with like 19% protein, I mean, there's a lot of brands of regular dog food yeah. that already have that. Yeah. Um, the only downside to feeding dog food is that it falls into the cages. And that's that's what I hate about it, but I would rather deal with that. And paying only like $30 compared to 50 Yeah. I mean, I wish Doggy Bag Dog Food was still around doggy or at least more produce if it's still out there yeah uh doggy bag was probably my favorite it was actually if you look on tractor supplies uh ratings doggy bag dog food a lot of people feed their rodents with it so a lot of the ratings are people who breed rodents or breed them for their snakes i mean so it was a really good product it sucks that you know they went under or their contract with tractor supply didn't go so well so it is what it is. And we've we've even tried looking up different uh, 
rodent food that we've heard about from other breeders. Yeah. But there's not a supplier close by. Yeah, because we're um, in Mount Airy. I don't know. You can look it up in North Carolina. And some of the places that we were going to were like an hour away to get ASFs. Because it's not very common for people to breed ASFs and sell them. Because um, one, they can be expensive at times. Yeah, we just paid $40 for 10 Yeah. So. So. It, it's pretty pricey for ASFs cause, just because it's so uncommon. But, and also they grow so extremely slow, like I said before. Because we, like, we have some that are still weaned. The only reason we even bought these was because we don't want to feed off our small ones. Because they're not going to fill up our snakes. No. We we need some with some girth, some size. Yeah. Especially with some of our snakes being over 12,000. Not 12,000. Some 12,000. Um, <laughs> 2,000 grams. And, you know, still in like the 1500s and stuff like that. Getting close to 2,000. So they need the adult size. And while we have everybody growing up, you know, they need... They need that big meal. Yeah. To last them for a week. Because that's when we do it. We do it every Friday. Yep. And now, wife, if you want to, you can show them that cage there. Yeah. Um, it, I will say, excuse the mess. Because, um, like we said before, the dog food does... Um, And that's why there's no food on the tray. is because I'm... Kind of just letting him clean up, kind of. Yeah, there's only one in here. Um, Most, mostly I tried to put males in there for our feeder tub. Yeah, you got your water, and of course he's hiding in the back. I don't know if you can see that or if I'm even in the right angle. That's a, uh, another purchase that I did through Reptile Basics. That's a rat cage for their rat size but yeah. you can only fit about three rats in that cage yeah where i have probably fit more close a, to like 15 or 20 colony basically yeah um in mice and asfs which we'll show you our setup might as well go ahead and do in our, a rodent building video then yeah our rodent building actually has all all of our mice in these tubs yeah this one is just more convenient for us to keep ASFs in here since the majority of everybody eats ASFs. Yeah. Except for a couple. But they're not eating because they're prego. <laughs> or they're just off feet because if you don't know, ball pythons are very finicky. Yes. It's not to worry about as long as you monitor their weight. You see like a big weight loss, then it's time to do something about it. But. Yeah, like a Da Vinci Boa. Oh, yes. We could probably do a video on that. Yeah, uh, we'll do a video on some products that we use and shoot a bunch of descriptions down below because there's just not enough time to <laughs> explain all that and we're both very tired. Um, we have a couple ideas for more videos. Um, we should have a... Um, I want to do... A video on pet supplies that are horrible reptile supplies that are horrible yes there's a lot out there that pays pet 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 stores <laughs> love to push on you if you're going into a pet store and a lot of them are yes, not needed no and we'll get into that um maybe next week or the week after depending on what we decide during our busy busy work week um, and maybe hopefully we'll have a egg laying video soon. Yeah, we got at a least in the next couple of months, I would say. Yeah. Um, uh, we got two girls who are pretty low on where their eggs are, so they're getting pretty close. But if my loving husband doesn't have anything else to say. But the loving husband will say this. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um on youtube like hit the notification button um go check out our other platforms on facebook tiktok instagram you know all of it like it share it follow 
I don't miss it, Tinder. <laughs> That's where we met, honey. That's where we met. <laughs> we do not have a Tinder. Not anymore. Not since we found each other. <laughs> but yeah, please go like all of our stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, email us, message him. Do it all. Please. We are here to be educators and we really appreciate you guys as far as viewing our videos, listening to our unnecessary bullcrap. It just means our, a lot to us. Our crazy antics. Yes, us being complete goofballs. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys have a good rest of your weekend and have a great week and we will guys we will see you guys next Sunday. <laughs>